Maybach truck in the coupe. Only time I'm going back. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this masked zoom in transition effect. And the first thing that you want to have is obviously some clips here. So I have three different clips laid out on my timeline here, and it could be more than that. It'll just depend on your song and how many clips that you're going to use, because this effect looks best when you're using it on the beat of the song. As you can see in the intro of this video, I use the transition on every single beat. So I'm just going to use three clips for this example. And the first thing that we want to do is go over to the clip that we want to transition to. So we have this clip here and I want to transition into this one so we're going to duplicate this clip and then we're going to go over four frames so one two three four and just drag that out and then we want to go ahead and mask out the car so go up to the pen and just make a rough outline around the car it really doesn't have to be perfect at all because you hardly even see the mask um, because it's only four frames long and you're just zooming in the clip so so it doesn't have to be super perfect just kind of make a rough outline something like this now what we want to do is hit s on our keyboard and it'll bring up the scale right here and we want to go over to the part where the two clips like transition i guess and you want to go and set a keyframe at 100 percent and then go to the start of that clip that we masked out bring that down to about like 25 percent or whatever looks good for you it's going to depend on the clip obviously so i'm just going to try 25 percent for this and now when you play that back you can see that the car now zooms in so we're pretty much almost there we just have to go ahead and add a few more effects and also you want to have motion blur turned on so make sure you click that little motion blur right here and now you'll have motion blur on that clip which just makes it look a lot better now i'm going to go ahead and pre-compose these two clips so highlight both of them and hit pre-compose make sure that these two right here are checked and then just hit ok and then we want to split this clip right here in half because i'm going to be adding shake to this so when it hits right here on that transition i want to have a shake like impact right there and you can use whatever shakes you want like you can use uh, s underscore shake if you want or just any other shake that you have downloaded i'm just going to go ahead and use my presets that i have for the shakes you can go ahead and download them in the description below and you can see that there's tons of different ones you can use here so i'm just going to go ahead and apply shake one see how that looks Honestly, that one looks super clean. I might have to go ahead and just stick with that. Put on motion blur, and there we go. It's super simple to use. So if you guys do want to go ahead and download the shakes, uh, I'd really appreciate it and help support the channel. So that's basically all it is to this effect. So if you want to go ahead and just do that to the rest of the clips, it's pretty simple and straightforward. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it one more time. So duplicate the clip, go four frames backward like that. And we're just going to go ahead and mask out this car and then set the same keyframes like we did on the last clip and then make sure motion blur is applied. Now let's just go ahead and add our shake once again, split these clips and I'm going to go ahead and apply a different shake this time. Let's try the shake Y and rotate, make sure motion blur is on. And there you go. That is pretty much how you create this effect. It's honestly pretty simple. Another cool effect you can add to the zoom in transition is actually offsetting this clip right here. And what I mean by that is duplicating the clip that's zooming in right here. So just hit control D and I'm just going to duplicate that maybe like two times. So now we have three of those masked out cars right here. And then once you have those three clips, you can just go ahead and offset them a little bit. So we're just going to offset them by like a frame for each clip like that. So when you play it back, you can see that they appear like one after each other, which looks super cool. You can also mess with it. It doesn't have to be like one frame. It can be like two maybe. And then once again, you can add shake to this, just pre-compose and do pretty much the same thing that we did for the last two. So we're just going to add some shake. So here's what it looks like with the offset clips there. I think it looks super cool. It stands out a bit more from just these uh, zoomed in clips right here. So you can go ahead and incorporate those into your edits and kind of mess with that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel down below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.